Well, well, Google just did the same thing as DeepSeek, and I'm glad about it. I found some info on Instagram and on the website of Google, and this is what I have in mind. They're using the thinking process just like DeepSeek, and you probably know what I mean when I think of DeepThink. When you ask DeepSeek about something, it's firstly gonna give you its thought process, and then afterwards, it's gonna spit out the response. Now with this, with this 2.0 flash thinking, it's gonna be the same thing. So it's better in reasoning. And yes, it's free, and I can't believe it, honestly, because OpenAI and all of that, it just makes me sick. DeepSeek was open source. This one is not open source. It might be, maybe, who knows, but it's free. You can use it for free. Now, what I like the most, I like the image editing with text. So it is chat-based editing, whatever you wanna do. No prompts, no hassle, just chat with the thing. Let me just show you how this works. You can just Google for it like this, Gemini Flash. It's gonna be the first result here. You're gonna land here where you can just read more about it, right? I'll show you later on, but first of all, just try this in Google AI Studio. This is how it's gonna look like. Now, if you just wanna go with code, if you wanna go with text, whatever, you can do it right here. And you can see here, down there is a place for your text. Now, if you wanna work with images, you just have to switch it here. So the model is here, as you can see. So you have to choose this one. So Gemini 2.0 Flash Image Generation Experimental, right? Click on it, a little bit here is gonna change. And now all you have to do is to give it a prompt, but it's just like text base. Now there's some examples here. As you can see, you can create visual stories as well. If you click on create a visual story, you can see that it's gonna give you the characters, it's gonna give you the story, and it's gonna give you that character inside of that story. So for example, what is this goat going through? Right off the bat, I see beautiful money-making opportunity on let's say YouTube or Instagram where you can just make these for kids. And you know, you can just use AI voiceover in order to just take all of this text and turn it into the voiceover, right? And you get the pictures, you can use a Canva to edit all of this in one, and it's just beautiful, right? And you can do this for whatever you want. So it is, let me just increase the size of this one. So the prompt was generate a story about a white baby go going on an adventure in a farm in a 3D cartoon animation style for each scene, generate an image. But I can't wait to show you what this can do with character consistency. I took a picture from Pexels. So this old man here, I just downloaded it. I go back to Gemini here. By the way, this is integrated in Gemini now, in the Gemini app that is. And now I can just click on the plus icon here and I can upload the image here. You can also take a photo from your phone right away. You can record audio, you can upload any kind of file, but I'll just do with image now, where I will put this man here. So just take a look at this magic. All you have to do now is to type something like this. So make this man look into the camera. So this is character consistency that is really, really good with this one. All you gotta do is click on run and you know, it's not gonna take long as well. And now this man is looking into the camera. If you don't like it, you can just turn his head. I mean, it's just crazy. So for example, make the picture like it's a passport photo, right? So just to turn his head to us. And down there, you can see this is how it looks like, like a passport photo. Now I'm just gonna do the same thing with the original picture. I'm gonna upload it once again, and then I'll just write, make this man smiling. And it's gonna do exactly that. So it is really, really good. And it doesn't lose the quality. It's believable, right? And with this, I have another opportunity to make money with. Now, all the opportunities that I have in mind is gonna be revolving around content creation, and it's gonna be about using YouTube or Instagram. For YouTube, you can use those scenes, structures, the stories that you know kids love to watch. They're really good, they're profitable, and a lot of people are watching it. For this, though, you're gonna use Instagram. And, you know, there's a lot of these quote pages on Instagram, but they're not so, you know, they're just, too basic. If you take any one of these, they do have a lot of followers, but what they do, they just take a black background and they just put a white text over it. And you know, this shows you that it doesn't take a lot of content creation, but it takes a lot of consistency. Because if you take and see how many times these people post, 
and how structured they are, well, it's just gonna be a really good example for you that to get this, it doesn't have to look so like beautiful or something, but just imagine what would happen if they had a picture here in each one of these posts, instead of just having, you know, black background. So this is what I have in mind. You can create a character here. You can even create a new one. You don't have to take a picture from Pexels. You can create it yourself. You know, this is a really, really powerful tool. All you have to do is to change, for example, the emotions on it. And then you can use another model here, which is Gemini 2.1 Flash, to get those quotes, right? So for example, give me five motivational quotes. And of course, you're gonna have the content here. And you can even get the full Instagram post by just writing this, create a picture for the quote number one, and take a look at this. It gives you that person there. Uh, it took the passport photo, but you can of course change it, and it just puts it over that picture. It's just beautiful. It's not so good with text stuff, so make sure you check this. Maybe this is gonna get fixed, I'm sure of it. Now, as I've told you, it is gonna take consistency. It's, it's gonna take a lot of time until you just get the traction of it. This is not a get rich quick scheme. This channel is not about get rich quick schemes, and we're not gonna sell any kind of course or whatever. This is for you to have in mind. If you have the stomach for it, if you think you can be consistent and you can work on it every day, go for it. On the other hand, if you can't, it's okay, right? You don't have to start now, let it boil. Just have it somewhere in the back of your mind. Think about ideas, write your ideas down, always. You know, creativity is not originality or something. Creativity is just writing down your thoughts and later on connecting them, right? It doesn't have to be now. Maybe you're not ready for it, but if you start writing it down, soon you are. On the other hand, if you wanna get some money right away with using this tool, you can always start freelancing for other people, right? There's a lot of demand for content nowadays. And as I've told you, there's tons of creators just wanting to hire someone to do some work. Also, e-commerce owners, they need marketing creatives. They need pictures, they need text. And you can see that this person sells one picture for $45 on Fiverr. And all this AI image, custom AI image generation is live right now. Some of these people wanna do it for fun to you know, make their friends look funny, whatever. Some of these people, most of them, wanna do it for work, right? So there's a lot of demand for it and I strongly suggest that right away you make yourself a Fiverr gig and you know just be present on Upwork as well. And of course, you yourself can use Instagram to market yourself. Then just showcase your talent, your work here on Instagram and then just lead that traffic elsewhere. For example, you can use Linktree in order to just place your Fiverr gig, your Upwork gig, whatever, or your email address so people can find you more easily. But honestly, this is powerful, really, powerful. You know, this visual story is really, really good. If you take all of those pictures and you just edit them, you know, it's going to be a beautiful thing on YouTube, right? And this is an example on how you can edit images for e-commerce owners, right? And if you don't like this chocolate now, as I do, just like talk to it, right? Just talk to it. Just make it less chocolate, right? That's how Gemini functions. As you can see, now it is less chocolate and it looks more natural. This is what I mean. No need for prompts. Just chat to it. Just talk to it. And yeah, it is going to depend on you and your effort. So I wish you good luck and I know you can do it. See you in the next one.